The sun is shining in beautiful Tampa Stadium as the monster trucks of the United States Hot Rod Association do some afternoon straight line qualifying for a nighttime turning track event in Tampa. And we've got all the action coming up on Monster Truck Challenge here on ESPN, the total sports network. of the Tampa Bay metropolitan area, one of the fastest growing communities in the country. Tampa is a big sports town with football's Buccaneers and baseball spring training. And of course, it's the home of Tampa Stadium, site of the NFL Super Bowl 25. Here on Monster Truck Challenge, Tampa Stadium is the site of the U.S. Hot Rod Association's Super Bowl of Motorsports. Hi again, everybody. I'm Ken Brew, and welcome to Monster Truck Challenge. Do we have a treat for you tonight? The six best monsters in the world have all qualified here in Tampa, but they've done it on a straight track. Nothing like they're going to race on tonight. For one, they're going to be under the lights. For another, they'll race in a horseshoe, in a horseshoe configuration. That's going to test not only the driver's ability, but his stamina, and the rear steering ability of every one of these trucks. Now, the fast qualifier was barefoot, but all that means for Fred Schaefer is he gets lane choice on a track he hasn't seen yet today. Here's how they stack up in round one. Fast qualifier, Barefoot takes on Bigfoot. Gravedigger is going to try and beat Equalizer to the finish line, and Taurus will battle it out with the Carolina Crusher. The stadium is packed with motorsports fans. They want action. They want Joe Lowe. Joe, bring us the call to round one. Thank you, Ken. Our first round matchup, an all-out foot matchup. The legendary Bigfoot, the truck that started it all, coming into the Tampa Stadium. And he's going against Fred Schaefer and Barefoot. A Chevy and Ford foot shootout side by side to start this thing out. There's Andy Brass out of West Alton, Missouri, driving Bob and Marilyn Chandler's Bigfoot. Going against him from just down the road, Pontoon Beach, Illinois, Fred Schaefer and Barefoot. Fred was the 1990 world champion. And he's trying to do it again in 1992. Bigfoot and Barefoot. And look at Bigfoot. He comes from behind. Now the turns were all in. And Barefoot has some problems. Bigfoot goes on to win it. He sails across the cars. And Fred Schaefer almost lost the truck. As he comes over, he lands very, very hard and just cannot steer. He's working. If you look up in the cockpit, you can see him working. Nothing seems to be going right for him. He almost flips the truck. Meanwhile, Andy Brass comes around and goes on to victory. We'll see if we can get back in the pits with Fred and see what happens in just a moment. Right now, the equalizer, David Morris, out of Springfield, Tennessee. Smiling Dave, they call him, and he's got reason to smile. This truck's been running great. He goes up against the grave digger. And Barefoot being towed out in the background. We'll try to go back to the pitch and see what's going on with him in a minute. Lyle Hancock pilots the Grave Digger out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Grave Digger and Equalizer are set and go. Grave Digger catching up to the Equalizer on the turn now. Oh, Digger spins around and so he's dead. He goes dead right on the turn. Equalizer picks up the win. Wonder what happened to Lyle Hancock and the Grave Digger. The crowd seems to be happy with the equalizer win. And this is a good chance to talk with Fred Schaefer. Fred, what happened to you on the suspension? Um, ladder bar bracket broke and uh, let the shocks get in the frame for the shocks up. You know why, what it caused it? Uh, just landing hard on one side. Did you anticipate anything like that? Uh, no, I didn't. Going hard as I could. What are you going to do now? Fix it better. Make it better for the next time. That's our Stan Rhodes with Fred Schaefer and David Morris. The equalizer has a problem with his tire. They're going to try to stuff it with silicone-coated rags and get it ready for the next round of action. 
concern. Look on David's face right there. Can he get things going for round number two? Meanwhile, back to the track. Here comes the reigning world champion, Jackie Wilman and Torres. Jackie out of Granite City, Illinois, and of course following in Dad's footsteps, Jack Wilman Sr., starting the whole Taurus tradition. Up against him, Carolina Crusher, Gary Porter, the lone wolf on the tour out of Waynesboro, North Carolina. This is going to be an all-out race in Tampa. Taurus and Crusher off the line. It's Crusher with a hole shot. Taurus coming from behind this important turn. Gary Porter, where are you going? And Torres makes it around. I'm not sure where. Ga I think Gary headed out to the concession stand. Torres gets the win. Gary Porter came off the line, went over the cars. And something happens to the front end right here. He looks like a, a, a T-baller hitting the ball and running to third. Out of the park. Gary, what happened to you in the first turn? Well, in qualifying this afternoon, I uh, messed up some pinion bearings when we run a pinion brakes, and I wasn't able to get everything fixed. So I'm just having to run with the front wheel brakes. And when I come off the cars, I hit the brakes, and it felt like one of the front wheels locked up in the truck slid a little bit, and I just couldn't make the turn. Can you fix it? No, all I can do right now is just do the best I can with what I have tonight, you know, and try to win. I like that. No, I like it when they go straight and they hop over the cars, but I, I, I kind of like it when they make the turns. You see the driving ability of these guys come into, into focus a little bit more. It's a rough round one for Gravedigger and for Barefoot. Lyle Hancock and Fred Schaefer both making repairs. Fast loser Gary Porter has joined the winners in round two, and we'll have round two racing action coming up from Tampa in just a moment. 